All right, so next on the list is my Medias folder. Excuse me. All right, my Medias folder, I have my YouTube and I have my Jasmine right here. I actually use the YouTube on my default, but Jasmine has a lot of cool little features on there, better interface. Next one is my entertainment folder. I have my Netflix, my online viewer, my iAnime, my Twitch. Now Netflix, you already know what Netflix is. Next one is online view, view player. This has two different features on there, which is pretty cool. You actually can view people playing video games, or you actually can play video games with whatever browser you have. So you can play a console style game on any browser, wherever you got, even from your iPad, from your iPhone, whatever. You can be playing Splinter Cell, you can be playing Driver 3, you know. Next one is iAnime. I actually use this a whole lot, but I actually slow it down. Don't use iAnime at all that much, but it allows you to watch any anime. And I say any anime you want, whether Japanese, American, dub, whatever. Next is Twitch. And Twitch is a massive, massive video game streaming website. So you can watch people playing either Black Ops, or I guess the hottest thing out right now that's on there is League of Legends. And next on the list is Vivo HD. This is my best official music video app. Because I, I get tired of going to YouTube and typing, okay, I want to see... Um, there's a new Lil Wayne music video. You click on it and there's some lyrics flying across. Or you might see a kid on there sing a Lil Wayne. It's not the official one. So Vivo actually has the official things, the single push notifications of actual artists when they coming out right in the time so I can actually see the video. And it shows explicit stuff so it's not all softcore or whatever. Next is iStream Net. I used to use this a whole lot before I actually got Movie Box or XBMC. And you can stream different shows like 20 minutes or 30 minutes after you're on TV. So I use it sometimes when I want to watch The Simpsons, whatever. I go on iStream.net, have The Simpsons right on there. But it's kind of buggy. I don't use it that much. It soon will be deleted. Next on the list is my music folder right here. Music folder, I have my Pandora. Everyone knows Pandora. Below that one, I got Songza. It's just like Pandora, but Songza. It's a bit more open, I would say. It's not pretty much limited. They have a lot more artists to get a chance to, and you can hear a lot more different music. Next to Pandora, I have Melodies, which is Google also. It's um, associated with my Google Music. So all the music is from my iTunes. I upload it to Google Music, and I actually can play my music on the go, whether it's with Wi-Fi, 3G, whatever it is, so I don't take up all the space on my iPad. I, don't have like a, I have a smaller size iPad, 16 gigs. Next is music, which I don't use at all because I don't have no music on my iPad. What's the next one? Music is, um, you think about back in the day when people had LimeWire. Uh, music allows you to download any music format that you want, like any music you hear, a song on the radio, you hop on music, you can download it and start playing it. Um, these two blue icons, one with the S and one with the P. The first one with the S is Songs of Downloader. Now, Songs of Downloader it allows you to have an ad free experience with Songs of. Also, you have unlimited skips. And also, you could download songs from Songza, which is pretty cool. So if a song is playing on there, you press the download, it downloads the song, you can play it whenever you want, whether you have a Wi-Fi connection or not. Next to it is P Downloader, which does the same exact thing for Pandora. I had P Downloader way before I had Songza, and allows you to have unlimited skips, uh, no commercials, and you also download songs to play them. And, oh yeah, I forgot to say, Songza and um, I mean, S Downloader and P Downloader are both inside of Cydia for free. Next one is videos, which I don't use at all. Take some space. Next folder I have, which I probably will change this folder up because I actually have different things. I might put some of these in my daily. I have my sports center, some y'all cool notification when the football season started, whether it's basketball. Next is calculator. I think either I probably came with calculator or not, but I maybe downloaded this one. Maybe, I don't know. Next one is photo timer, three, two, one, I would call it. And it just pretty much does a countdown before it takes a picture. It comes in handy, sit your device somewhere, stand back, profile, and then it takes a picture for you. All right, so moving along with us, we got here education right here. These are my two primary apps I'll use for like any kid that you have around you. First one is Ignitus. Ignitus is a perfect app. It goes from ranges, I think, about six months, all the way up to 10 year olds, I think, or nine year olds. And it goes wherever they are. I mean, it goes when they love with their own. So, like for example, it might do matching, and they match on different things. Or it might have math on there, or it might have um, finding something on there. You got to find like a particular animal. And it goes on and on and on. It gets better and better. Different categories. Ignitus is totally free and it's an app store, and I highly recommend Ignitus.
It's a really good app for kids. Keep them busy, keep them um, educated on different things. Next is Bugsy Pre-K, which I'm like, a night is, it actually costs us money. I think it's like $2.99, $3.99 in the App Store. And it's only geared for, towards um, Pre-K. It has um, reading in it, it has problem solving, it might have like missing letters and words, like it might have the word word and the word the letter O and R is missing out of it, and the kid has to figure out where to put it at. As if my education folder. Next one is my books folder. I have the Holy Bible. This is actually the best Bible app. I like to look for the best apps. Next to it is um, TBN, the Botnet, which is a website I like to go on a whole lot. Next is CNN. I like to know my world news, not just my local news, what's going on. Next is How to Fix Psy, which I have no idea why it's on here. I think it had like a Psy problem, like Psy Delete, which was a serious tweak. I guess it doesn't work on my iPad. Next is Craigslist. This is a Craigslist app that I actually don't need no more because I have the other one, so I would delete this one. Next is Pinterest on there. My old lady, she told me that Pinterest, you gotta check out Pinterest, man. That's a lot of DIY stuff on there. You can go ahead and check this out. I do recipes. You can build stuff on here. You can do all types of things. So I hop on there, scroll my Pinterest. I saw some fashion things in there. I saw some build things. So all types of things. So Pinterest is a decent app, solid app. I also would probably say it might be a must have app on your iDevice. That's his iBooks on here. Unlike um, Newsstand, iBooks, you, uh, uh, unlike Newsstand, iBooks, you actually import your PDF file. So say if you download a PDF book or ebook, as they call it, online, you download the PDF, you drag it to your iTunes, and you actually slide over and read your PDF. I like to use it for the magazines. So I download probably like Game Informer or might download uh, Men's Health, whatever, different, different things like that. Next one is my social folder. First one on here I have is Get Glue. Just like Into Now, Get Glue is a social TV sharing app. So unlike Into Now, I can just open this up and then let it listen to pop the show. Open up Get Glue, I type it in, and I can type in movies on here. I can type in music, I can type in if I'm playing a video game, whatever like that. And other people, they get probably typing at the same time. We all discuss what's going on at the same time. Next is Facebook. Everyone knows Facebook app is. Next is Instant DM which is a messaging client for Instagram. My One of my favorite um, filter apps, or not filter, but frame apps is PicFrame, really good um, picture app, or not picture app, picture editing app. Next is InstaGhost, you yeah, actually get to monitor your followers and everything on Instagram. Next is Kik, or Keek. It's also a messaging client, other people can Keek you, and you know, talk so without giving out your phone number. And on Keek, unlike InstaDM, you actually send pictures, and that's right, pictures and text. Next is Skype. I use Skype a whole lot on my iPad. Talk, keep together with my family. Talking, whatever like that, give a little Skype message. Next one is Gram Grammatica. I guess it's, um, I guess, but it's a bit better to navigate through than Instagram. You can like multiple pictures at one time, comment, tons of little pictures. Next one is Padgram, which is just like Grammatica. It allows you to view a lot of pictures, scroll, different interface. Next one is my Delete Soon folder. This is some apps that I put in here that I played with for a little bit, but you know, as a photo said, I'm gonna delete these soon. First one is iCamera, and iCamera is a crazy little app that puts different little toggles and different things on you as you're moving around on the screen. So say this is me, for example, right here. I can change different filters for myself. All right, that one looks pretty cool right there. There you go. Alright, what's this one? <laughs> Alright, so that right there is iCamera. Pretty cool. I think it costs or maybe it's free, but it's in the app store. Next one is Figure, and it's a cool little beatbox thing. I like making little beats, so I thought I did. And you would boop, 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 whatever, and you can make little beats on there. And record it, but only thing I didn't like about it was I couldn't export my stuff. So if I make an awesome beat, I can't save it. So what's the point? Next one is Coin Mafia. You ever play those little coin games that be at the, um, I guess, where is it at? Uh, I guess at carnivals, whatever. And you see those little hands that be like, and you put your quarter in there, your coin, and then it pushes the coins back like that. This game does the exact same thing as Coin Mafia. It's kind of fun, kind of addictive. I'm about to get deleted. Next is free memory. You get this from the CD store. It frees up memory on your iDevice. 
But I thought it was kind of tedious every time if my things run it, my, if every time my eye device is running slow, I go ahead and press on this and do it. So I don't like doing stuff repeatedly like that. So that's going to delete it. Next is my posing app, which I actually want to keep this one. Probably keep it on my iPhone. It shows me tons and tons of different poses for any type of scenario. So you can have a guy and a girl pose. You can have a girl for kids. You can have a family. You can have a kid with their dog or whatever like that. It shows you all these cool poses that you can do and take pictures of. So I like to take pictures. Next is Minecraft. I used to play this a whole lot on my Mac when it first came out, but now they not. So I just want to try it on my, on my iPad. last folder I have on here is my storage folder and I have copy and I have Dropbox they pretty much both do the same thing only difference is I believe my copy one is like 18 or 15 gigs of free storage space and Dropbox is like 5 or 10 and this I basically use just the back of my pictures on my iPhone on my iPad and on my computer so they're all backed up just in case something crazy happened and it comes in handy if I go somewhere else log into a web browser and go to my Dropbox, I can look at my pictures on there and download them, whatever, yeah. comes in handy. Alright, so that's it to what's on my jailbroken iPad. Hit me up on the comments below, let me know what you thought about it. If there's any apps that you've seen, you want me to know, like, one little more detail on them, let me know about it, message me, comment me below. Till next time.